But on the subject of confidence, I think there's so much to be gained from just doing the thing, right? Like I am confident because I do things when I'm scared. I do things when I'm anxious. I do things when I don't believe in myself. And through doing those things, I have learned that I can do them. Sometimes I do them well. Sometimes I don't do them well. Sometimes I need to do them more to get better. But by doing the thing, I discover that I can. And I discover that I'm okay, that I survived, that I did the thing, you know, whether it be talking to someone that I felt afraid to talk to, putting myself out there in public, creating a piece of art that I felt scared of, um, you know, for me, especially as like a comedian and an actress and um, a photographer, doing, taking the picture, taking the photograph, doing the thing, charging the rate, putting videos on social media every single day because I need to, you know, it's, it's a, it's part of how I, it, it's part of my strategy for building my career. And sometimes it really just feels like a slog. And sometimes I don't know if it's working, but I just do the thing, right? I have people all the time, um, particularly when, you know, about like, cause I post a lot on social media and all the time they're like, you're so confident you can do all these things. And I don't know. And I feel like people are waiting to experience confidence before they do the thing. And what I want to say is that doing the thing is how you get the confidence. You're not going to get the, you're not going to magically get confidence if you never do the thing, right? So it's like doing the thing and doing it scared and doing it fucking anyways and discovering that you can. I'm getting really like, I get very passionate about this, but that's how, that's how you build confidence. That's how you discover that you can. That's how you discover that you're not going to turn into a puff of smoke when you do the thing. So I just want to encourage anyone watching this to just freaking do the thing, do it scared, do it anxious, do it crying. I've had so many times in my life, like I, I had, what was this? This is like two years ago. I was going through a phase where I just like, didn't believe in myself. I just didn't believe in myself as an artist. I was tired. Um, it's exhausting. It can be, you know, the entertainment and creative industry can be exhausting. And I remember crying, like sobbing in the middle of my kitchen floor, hugging my giant German shepherd, just like wishing that I could quit. And literally the only reason that I didn't quit is because I, when I thought about it, I was like, I just, I honestly have been doing this for so long that I don't have like the training or experience to make, to make money any other way. And I wasn't making at the time, I'm still not like rich, you know, I mean, I make a living, but I'm not rich. And I was crying in the middle of the floor and I was like, I don't like, what am I going to do? Like go back to school. And I, and I thought about, I sort of mentally went down the path of what would happen if I went back to school and did like a safe career. And when I thought about it, I was like, I don't know, dude, like I could do a safe career and then I could get fired from that job. I don't know if it would actually create success. And I think that the only choice that I have is to just freaking commit, commit to the fucking bit. Right. And I had had all these auditions and I'd had this movie that I was like almost the lead in. And then I didn't get the part because, you know, I don't, a, a girl got it who was, you know, maybe she's probably a better actress than I was, but she also had a bigger resume. And also due to having the bigger resume, I had a lot of experience. And like, I've, I've sent, sometimes I'll look at people who got parts instead of me and like, she's great. She's a phenomenal actress. Like she totally deserved that role. Um, 
but it was disheartening, right? And I committed to, it was my birthday month and I was just like, I'm just going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep making videos. And two things happened. One is that I had an audition to be the lead in a movie and I didn't think I was going to get it. I thought I didn't get it. And then a year and a half later, they called me and they were like, yeah, you got the lead. And I just hadn't heard from them because funding had been delayed on the project, but I was always the top choice. And I had been thinking like, ah, I didn't get the lead and like, I suck and I'm not going to get this part. So I, anyways, all that to say that I just decided that I was going to keep going, even though I truly at that point didn't have any belief in myself. Like I, I really like, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I felt confused. I didn't feel like my talent was up to par. I wasn't believing in myself. My self-confidence was like really rough. I was having like, I was going through a weird phase where I just like didn't like the way that I looked. I don't even, it was just like weird. Like I think whether you're traditionally attractive or not, feeling like you don't look good is something that anyone can experience. And it's just, it's a weird thing. Um, and I just committed to keep doing things. Another fun thing that happened out of that time is I made a video because I was putting myself on this quota to like make videos, um, to make like four a week, like four skets, sketches and characters. I made a video. Someone saw the video, started following me, then saw more videos that I made. And this is kind of like an interesting thing. This wasn't like directly related to acting, but then I this person reached out to me and wanted to hire me because they learned that I'm also a photographer and they wanted to hire me to help them create content that was along the lines of what I'd create for myself. Funny, out there, reels. So then I started like writing content, directing content, like creating stuff for this person. It did really well. That went on to be like a really um, positive relationship. I love this person. They're a wonderful client. Um, I've had a lot of fun, been able to like go to a lot of cool places with them and help create content. And that also has been like a, a stable client, which has helped me have, you know, like be able to stably create and be an artist and a freelancer and all that to say that it's interesting for me to think that like three days before I made the video that this client saw that made them follow me. I was crying in the middle on my kitchen floor and I did it anyway. So do the thing, man. It's not the confidence that is going to give you the strength to do the thing. It's doing the thing that's going to give you the confidence. Okay, that's all.